my shoulders. It's cold, but it's gonna get cold. All right, coming up next, it's a heavyweight matchup between Junior Dos Santos and Mark Hunt. So here's the longtime heavyweight staple, Mark Hunt, powerful rhythmic striker. I know, Joe Rogan, you have said this guy has as good a chin as any heavyweight who has ever graced the octagon. He's also the king of the walk-off knockout, ubiquitously regarded as one of the bigger power threats this heavyweight division has ever seen. And, of course, who can forget the five-round epic scrap with Bigfoot Silva back in Brisbane in 2013, still considered by many to be the greatest UFC heavyweight fight of all time. He's very athletic, has a ton of natural quickness. You can see it in the way he moves around the octagon. He's got fast feet and a lightning quick jab. He's a very difficult guy to counterfight. As soon as you see the shot come, He's tagged you. A jiu-jitsu black belt, but known more for his boxing acumen. The Santa Catarina Brazil-born Junior Dos Santos. No UFC heavyweight has knocked down the opposition more than JDS. This man has been primed and at the top of the sport for years. He'll try to continue his assault against the elites once again here tonight, Joe. Junior Dos Santos is a very dangerous striker. He's got precision punches with knockout power behind them. He has been putting top-level guys to sleep since he came to the UFC. fight. Hunt is nine years the elder. He weighed in at 265 pounds. Dos Santos will have a five-inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. You ready? You ready? All right, so this UFC Grand Prix tournament is coming up next. This format has been all the rage with a lot of the hardcore mixed martial arts fans out there. Sort of an homage to the history of UFC and Pride with a single night tournament game event here. And let's see who can be the last man standing here tonight. Pretty good jab there by Sagano. Gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up, Joe. Overhand punch to the head. Blocked, though, by JDS. Such good movement in there. Just misses with the jab there. He's moving to his right, trying to avoid that big right hand. Oh, oh. oh that one hurt. He's got him hurt here. Joe Santos gets caught by the inside leg. He's fainting with that punch. That 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 punch. Punch. Oh. This could be it right here. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. How about that chin? Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Well, Joe, you gotta fault the strategy here. I'm not saying he bet on the opponent, but he's moving right into that straight. Oh! Kick lands, he's stunned! Trying to stay in this fight! Quarters for a while, now they separate. Blocks the shot. Oh, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Dos Santos. Leg kick. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Hunt.
Well, that didn't take long. Dos Santos's kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. Hunt gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Punch is blocked. Strong jab there by Sagan. Right. Second okay, round, stop. straight ahead. And there is the horn. Confidence has to be high after that round. Really good round there from Hunt. Huge knockdown and very close to stopping that fight, I should add. Keep doing exactly what you're doing. Let's see some of the action here. Let's take a look at that again. And let's take a closer look at that from a different angle. Good to have Brazil's Jenny Andrade in the building here. You ready? You ready? Here we are, early round two. That last round was an all-out brawl. If they continue like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. Mark Hunt is an elite-level kickboxer. Huge power in his punches, great speed, especially for a man his size. And I doubt there's a man alive with a better chin. Mark Hunt can block a freight train with his face. Well, that didn't take long. Dos Santos's nose is cut now, and resultantly, Joe is bleeding. Well, he has landed some good shots in our show, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid combinations, and that has served to keep his opponent in this fight. So let's see if he can change up the tempo a little bit with his strikes and try to put together a combination that is more damaging to his opponent. Oh, effective strike there by Hunt. Oh! Try to establish that jab. Yeah, it's it's free. It's like he's cheating. You know, it's like he's got rocks in his gloves. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. He's digging into that leg kick. Oh, that one hurt him badly. Oh! Back up. Junior Dos Santos on fire with that jab. and move forward. 15 seconds remain in the round. Oh, nice jab up top by Hunt. Straight right. Oh, oh. And that's the end of round number two. Oh, what a way to end. Are you ready? You ready? Fight. Third round underway. about that shin. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Back 
and forth we go. He blocks the punch. Oh, he clipped him there. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Just misses. Doing a fantastic job of blocking shots. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Showing the punch. Under three minutes now to go in the fight. Good defense there. Joey missed with that straight right attempt. Snap off the jab. That's pretty to watch. Beautiful employment of the jab here. Oh, man. He's badly, badly hurt. Oh. Well played there to avoid the clinch. Hunt's hook shot blocked. That one was telegraphed. Good job by the defense. First takedown attempt is there. Job here, staying busy from the bottom. He's posturing up here. Elbow now to the head. That one landed by Sagana. He's back to full mount again. Elbow lands there. Nice job by Dos Santos. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Postures up. Into the full guard. Posturing up now. Oh, lands a massive elbow. 20 seconds to go. Hunt's lower jaw now, Joe. Started to show some signs of swell. Wow. Unbelievable. This crowd is on its feet. Those men just gave everything they had. All right, so to the surprise of many viewers at home, I would think this fight survives to hear the final horn. Amazing action throughout on both sides. Both fighters got knocked down at least once in the fight. A tough fight to call. We are glad we are commentators and not judges once again. Let's see how they saw it. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 29-28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Junior Sagano Dos Santos. So congratulations to Sagano Junior Dos Santos on yet another big win here tonight. Maybe his son Bento's even old enough now to be watching his dad go to work. And if so, what an inspiring effort he saw in this one. Junior Dos Santos lighting up this arena with his performance tonight. All right, coming up next, a heavyweight collision between Junior Dos Santos and Kane Velasquez. California. Here he is, the former UFC heavyweight champion, Cain Velasquez. You can't tell the history of this division without mentioning Cain Velasquez, who still could go down, potentially, as the greatest heavyweight in UFC history.
Cain Velasquez started out as a wrestler and has become one of the most intimidating heavyweight strikers in UFC history. He throws very accurate, extremely powerful punches, whether he's standing or using his grounded pound. Time UFC heavyweight champion Junior Dos Santos, mentored by the great UFC Hall of Famer Minotauro Noguera. Zagano has really become one of the best boxers, Joe, this division has ever seen. Certainly has that takedown defense if he wants to keep the fight upright in his wheelhouse. Can fall back on the Jiu Jitsu black belt if needed, but Junior Dos Santos figures to be looking to throw hands here early and often tonight. Junior Dos Santos combines aggression accuracy, one-punch knockout power with incredible takedown defense, focus, drive, and determination. He is one of the elite heavyweights on the planet Earth. And now our kill of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Velazquez is one year his senior. Dos Santos is three inches taller. The reach is the same. And now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. You ready? You ready? Fight. Well, no better way to pay homage to the history of Pride and the UFC with this single night UFC Grand Prix tournament. Some of the best fighters in the world have come out. Let's see who will be the last fighter standing here tonight. Junior's looking to really put some speed behind that right hand. Showing that punch. This is a this is a bit of a chess battle here. Throwing that jab, no good. Nice punch there by Sagano. Kick lands. You gotta be careful when you throw the same technique over and over and over again. Wow! Oh! He's got him hurt here. Big shot! Lands a nice one, too. Oh! Stunning jab! Three minutes remain in the round. Well, he ate a pretty big head kick there, Joe, and he's got to be careful moving forward, moving into striking range, leaving that head wide open. I know his corner looks frustrated. Let's see if this team can make the requisite adjustments. Oh, beautiful, beautiful kick to the butt. And he doesn't get it. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Another shot there, his takedown defense figured to be tested tonight. It has certainly held up, Joe. Nice stuff there. Good combination there by JDS. Five minutes in the books. So he heads back to the stool after a dominant round. Great round there from Dos Santos. Huge knockdown. It was probably the most important aspect of that round and most likely won the round.
There it is again. Let's see it one more time. You ready? You ready? All right, let's get to round two. Now, starting off this round, you've got to think that the barrage that he endured in that last round is still affecting him. He's going to want to start this round off and... Oh! Huge right hand! after round one, so he got the message from the corner. Oh! Can he hang on? Oh! No. That was excellent timing here to land a big left hand to stop the fight. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. And here's the end. Here it is again from another angle. And here we see it one more time. Look at the timing in this shot. Bam! Out cold. First Champion, there he is in the flesh, 
What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. The champion is in focus. He is in his prime. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular. He believes he has a solid game plan, and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Verdun is six years his senior. Dos Santos weighed in at 238 pounds. The reach is identical. All right, now for the official introductions. We go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buck. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, yeah. here we go. Up for grabs tonight. The title of baddest man on the planet as we get set to crown a UFC heavyweight champion. Leg kick from Fabricio Verdun. Verdun gets absolutely tagged by that stiff jab. Visibly limping here. That punch will work right through the guard. Well, he walked into his opponent's range there and ate that hook. He was unprotected, unguarded, and he's been susceptible to that hook in previous UFC fights. Got to figure out a way to move those feet and ultimately still go out and get that head off the center line. Ooh, blocks the shot. Dos Santos gets caught with that punch. Good shot. Watch the shot here, Joe. He's got good accuracy on that jab. Takedown attempt there. Roundhouse kick, Joe. Unable to find the target. Oh, nice job to block the kick. For Doom with a powerful kick to the body. Almost hits him with that left hook. Tremendous hook, landed flush for the victory. Well, Joe, you knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. And here's the end of the fight. Let's see it again. Tremendous force, and that's a wrap. Check it out here. Bang. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Let's get it inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 48 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Chicago So there is the man they are all still chasing in the UFC heavyweight champion, the undisputed king of the big boys, getting it done here tonight by way of the knockout. And his corner is absolutely thrilled with the effort and the result here tonight. He was measured, and when there was an opportunity to seize the finish, he certainly steamrolled right through it. Congratulations to the still UFC heavyweight champion of the world.